Hello and welcome. We're still on creating a loan product and I'm going to be showing you how to add more configurations to your loan product. In this video, we are going to learn more about other configurations such as the multi-panel, the disbursement rules, repayment details, and some of the additional details that we have available to us. So for the multi-panel section, this is where you get to specify if you would like your loan to be repaid in multiple trenches as opposed to a one-off payment. You can find your multiple tenor option under the repayments details tab and here you can toggle on or off this option um, and you can also um, specify what frequency you would like um, the loan to be repaid in so as a best practice we say that for monthly new loans that is loans with due date of maybe three to six months your frequency would be monthly meaning that the user should be required to make monthly payments until the final due date of either three to six months depending on what your product configuration is so here you can make the frequency monthly weekly daily yearly depending on the type of loan product that you are configuring um the next section we have is the repayment details section um, and this is where you get to specify your repayment model either the straight line method or the reducing balance method so whichever case you pick the calculation may apply accordingly um the next section we have is the disbursement rules and what this configuration allows you to do is specify the disbursement type which would be either manual or automatic. The manual disbursement type is usually the default and this is where the loans would have to be pre-accessed by you before they can be disbursed to the user. Now we advise that for starting out you would actually opt in for the manual disbursement type as opposed to the automatic. The automatic means that loans would be automatically dispersed to users once the system based on the decision model you have configured has determined that this user is eligible for a loan. So once the system determines that this user is eligible for this loan product at that point, the loan will be automatically disbursed to the user. We also have the disbursement rights tab next to it. And this is where you can specify who, what team members can um, approve a loan request. So you can create a loan product and specify that only super admins can approve this loan, which means that every other admin type or team member access would not be able to approve this type of loan request you could also just make it to be super admins and admins or just even leave the access to be just all team members so you are able to choose which of your team members are able to approve these loan requests when you get them you finally have the option of whether you can disburse to bank to wallet or to do to third parties now basically what this feature allows you to um configure is where this funds should be disbursed to so if you select bank, it means the funds will be disbursed automatically to your users' um, bank accounts that they have added to your platform. If you select wallet, it means the funds will be transferred to their wallet. And in the case of third-party loan products, you would configure this to third-party. So this is basically how you can add configurations such as the multi-tenor, the repayment rules, and the disbursement rules to your loan products. Don't forget to save changes after any configurations that you may have made to your loan products. Thank you.